Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jenny and I like to make videos each week on different types of arts and crafts. If you've got any ideas of things you'd like me to make or things I've made before that you'd like to see me do again, uh, please comment down below. I really like to hear from you guys. Um, today we're going to be making a uh, hair vine of pearl and crystals that you could use for Holy Communions, weddings, bridesmaids, um, all sorts of things like that. Really versatile technique. I'm doing it with crystal and pearl, but of course you can replicate the technique with any sort of combination of beads, colours, bits and bobs that you want. Um, it makes a really effective hairpiece. It's so cheap to make. It probably cost me less than a couple of pounds to make each of these. And when you compare that with how much you have to pay in the shops, 30 pounds plus usually, you know, it's a really quick and easy way to make effective hair pieces for important occasions. So I'll show you what we've made today. So this is just one of what will be a pair. And it's pearl and crystal on a gold, on a gold um, wire. It looks really effective, really stands out against dark hair. Um, but of course, if you've got really pale hair, then it just adds that extra bit of sparkle if you're looking for something a bit more subtle. And as I said before, you can really change up bead combinations that you can use. It's super easy. This took me about 20 minutes to make. Um, and as I said, great uh, saving. So without much further delay, let's get into the video. But first, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful. Okay, so the things you're going to need for this um, pearl and crystal hair vine tutorial I've got just over a metre, about a metre and ten centimetres of beading wire here. This is the type I've used, so it's 34 gauge gold wire, so it's really quite fine. You can use slightly thicker than this as well if you want. And then the beads I've got here, so I've got some three millimetre um, pearl beads, some six millimetre and some little crystal beads here as well. Of course, you're going to need some scissors in the first place. And that's all you need really, so we'll just get straight into it. Okay, so to start with, we'll get our wire and we need to fold it in half. So try not to crease it more than you have to, but just to straighten it out. Get the ends together. And then just pull it straight. At this end, the end that you're folding, you need to make a couple of twists. So keep the wire firm within this finger and just twist with this hand. So you've got a bit of a loop and that's where your first hair grip will go into. And now from here, you can be as creative as you want really. Um, I think I'm going to do a kind of almond shape hair piece. So you give it a bit of give like this. About a centimetre or so. And then you pinch. Sorry, I'm going out of focus. You pinch the bead. And give it a twist. Try and keep the twist motion nice and consistent. And there you go, there's your first bead onto your hair vine. So we'll do the same for the other side. I'm going to use a crystal. And again, so you use a centimetre upwards. There you go, and then you can bend them into that position. And now we've got these two, we need to give this a nice twist. And they're nicely anchored in place now. So for this little branch, I'm going to be doing two. Put the smaller one in, then we're going to use another six mils. So you start it off in a similar way. So smaller bead on, a couple of twists. And then we're going, instead of going all the way to the bottom, after a couple of twists, we're going to add the second. So you can see we've got a little sort of branch of two there. And then we twist both of these together to get it back down to the main vine. So that's what we've got so far. We want to start adding some more onto this side. So 
Again, small amount of wire, a few twists of the first bead. Giving some room for the second bead. See, that's just twisting down to the join. And once you get to the join, you twist both of them. And when that gets down to the main vine, you then twist the whole thing around. There you go. So you can cut start to see how this is going to start getting created now. So we'll just continue along this. So I'll just speed up the video. Um, obviously, I'm using pearl and crystal, but you can use any sort of combination of beads or colours. Um, this is just kind of the vague technique to get the effect that you need. So we're nearly in the end here now, which you can see I've only got a tiny bit left of one of my strings. I'm probably just going to do a couple more with just one, so it matches up like this side. And then this little cluster vine will be finished. It's probably only taking me about 15-20 minutes to do. So I've finished my vine now and uh, what I need to do is obviously make a loop at this end so it matches the other side. It's a little bit more tricky, it's made easier if you've got kind of some needle pliers which I don't have. But it's just really a case of bending a loop back downwards and then twisting. the other way to create your loop. Okay, so that's it done. So I've literally just made a curve out of one of them and then just twisted, using the same twisting motion as before, twisted it back down the vine and you get quite a seamless finish. And that's it. All finished.